What's good, y'all? If you tapped in, you already know who I am. If not, my name is Caleb Jarrett. Bro, just do the work. I remember growing up playing Pee Wee, I had a coach. Shout out to Coach Milton. We would be in football and at the end of practice, you know, you gotta do conditioning and different things like that. So, in your mind as a kid, you already tired from school. Then after school, you going straight to practice and different things like that. So it's like, when we get to conditioning, we would have to run a hundreds. And if you don't know what a hundreds are, Basically, you run from one side of the field or one end zone to the other end zone on the other end of the field. And while we was running, he would always yell, stop feeling sorry for yourself. And at the time as a kid, I wouldn't really understand what he meant by that. I would honestly like just get tired of hearing it. And now that I think about it now, growing up and being where I'm at in life now, what he mainly means is at the end of the day, it got to get done. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop making excuses. Stop complaining. So that sticks with me to this day because that's the mentality that you literally have to be in as a man. You feel me? You wake up every day and you got to do what you got to do to get to where you want to be. So at the end of the day, if you want certain results, you got to put the work in and get those results. If y'all wondering why I looked a little wet or whatever with my jacket, it's because it's... It's 1047 and I just got done doing like 30 minutes of cardio at the gym on the Stairmaster. And I ain't gonna lie, I felt like I was gonna pass up. But at the end of the day, I know the results that I want. So I had to put the work in. I gotta put the work in. You feel me? So you gotta get past all the mental battles and everything. I know a lot of y'all probably just go to work, come home, eat and go to sleep. You feel me? And do the same thing every day. And... You wondering why you in this mental space of you feeling like you're not enough. You're not feeling confident in yourself. You feeling drained and tired all the time. You feel me? You feel like it's something missing. How do I know? Because I've been there. You feel me? I used to do the same thing every day until I woke up and was like, okay, I'm tired of staying in the same circumstances. I'm tired of being around the same messed up people or the same messed up environment. So what did I do? I put myself in positions where I had to work to get to where I wanted to be. And I'm not completely where I want it to be. It's going to always be an everyday challenge to get to that place and to those different levels of life. But you got to know where you're going. You feel me? So the biggest thing I can say is sit down with yourself. Assess the certain things and certain ways that you feel. If it's something you don't like, change it. You feel me? If your if your teeth not straight, go change it. Save up you a bag and go get them fixed or get you some braces or something. If your skin not clear, stop playing with yourself all the time. Stop not drinking enough water. Stop not drinking enough water. Start by drinking eight bottles a day. Drink you a gallon a day. You feel me? What's your water intake like? What's your skincare routine? What's your hygiene like? If you don't like the way your body look, go get you a gym membership. Stop making excuses because you're doing the things that you have to do to get to where you want to be, to get the results that you want to be or the results that you want to have. The longer you continue to complain and make excuses for the things that you got to do, the longer it prolongs the results that you want. And you don't get good results without putting in good work. It's inevitable, you feel me? But when you wake up and you wake up and have the thought on your mind of getting better, of improving, of doing better with your life, of being in the places and circumstances that you, you envision yourself in. When you wake up with them thoughts and you chase them, the closer you are to getting them. It's bound to happen. You know, the biggest thing you gotta learn is how to be consistent with it. You gotta learn how to be disciplined. Those aren't easy things. Those aren't things that you're born with. You feel me? But we, we spend so much time being born and taught everything else that you get to a certain point. So when you're out on your own or you start to get into the real world, you start to recognize that a lot of those things don't give you no value. A lot of those things don't add to your peace. A lot of those things don't allow you to be the person that you need to be. Whether it be spiritually, physically, 
financially. So it's like you spend this time working on building yourself, but before you can build yourself, sometimes you got to break stuff down. Sometimes you got to go backwards to go forward. So anytime you feel like you got to go back or take a step down, you feel me? Think of it like a slingshot is what I always say. Because there's been time periods where I see myself going certain places, but I feel like I got to start over. But with a slingshot, you got to pull it back to excel even further. You feel me? So stop complaining and just do the work. Learn how to be by yourself. Sit with yourself, for yourself. Stop relying on other people. The same way as just me and the camera talking, you feel me? I envision as me talking to myself a lot of times. And this is how you gotta be in your head. This is the visual representation of learning how to be by yourself, learning how to build yourself. And of course, along with the help of God and the works of God and everything like that, you don't never put yourself over that relationship. So it's you and God and then it's you and you. So you gotta continue to look at the camera or look in the mirror and ask yourself and assess with yourself, what is it that you're doing? What is, what is it that you're not doing? Where do you wanna be at? Deep down, you know at the end of the day if you're doing everything you need to be doing. How do I know? Because it's gonna be in here. You're gonna get that feeling in your stomach. Like, dang, I feel like I ain't doing enough. Dang, I feel like I wanna be here. Or dang, I need to be here. But what do you do? You make excuses. You stop showing up for yourself. You don't hold yourself accountable. But you want somebody else to hold you accountable. As a person that hold myself accountable, I'm not going to hold somebody else accountable knowing that they don't hold themselves accountable. Because now that shows me you don't love yourself. You're not trying to better yourself, for real. I'm not saying you're going to be perfect with it. But if every time I ask you a question or I come across something that you say you want to do, and you making excuses or I see you not putting the work in, then I'm going to get on you. You feel me? So do that for yourself. Be that be that person for yourself. Be that first person that you can go to. Stop feeling like you got to go to everybody else for an idea or for advice. And I'm telling y'all this stuff because this is stuff I went through. I speak from my experiences. I speak from things that I go through. I speak from my real life encounters, you feel me? My real life perspectives. Dog, I feel locked in, I'm not gonna lie, you feel me? Just a couple months ago though, I was in a place where I really wasn't doing much but going to the gym, going to work and coming home. And don't get me wrong, I have a great job, I have a great lifestyle, you feel me? I work for myself, so therefore I can't really complain about too much. But deep down inside, like I said, I get that feeling in my gut knowing it's more to me. I got more value than to just go cut hair and come home. I got more value than to just worry about myself. I got to worry about me first, but me worrying about me is me worrying about being able to be in a position to worry about other people. Me knowing I take care of myself allows me to know that I can help other people. And that's genuinely all that I want. So that fulfills me. That makes me better. That makes me grind. That makes me stay in a, a better mentality, knowing that it's people that come to me for advice, for things that they need to get advice on, or certain circumstances that they're going through, or sometimes just to be that example as a as an action. A lot of times you don't even got to speak. That's how I was in school. I wasn't a leader that would speak up a lot unless I just needed to. But a lot of times I would. I would be a leader by action, by action. I would be a leader by the things that I was doing. I would be a leader by me putting the work in, by me holding myself accountable. 
by me putting in the reps that I needed. So, like I said, the same way I'm looking at you in the camera, it's the same way you got to look at yourself. It's the same way you got to stop complaining. It's the same way you got to ask yourself, okay, let me go to the gym. It's the same way you got to look at yourself and be like, let me go put the work in. Let me go get on this Stairmaster 20, 30 minutes. Burn 300 calories. You feel me? Same way you got to look at yourself and know you need to get on your diet. Know you need to go put the hours in. Know you need to get away from the messed up females or the messed up niggas that you hanging around. You feel me? People that's not adding no value. So hold yourself accountable. You put the work in for you. Because if you want the results, you got to put the work in.